I'm going to give an overview of the Hikvision uh, 4 and 8 channel turbo HD TVI hi hybrid DVRs. So the reason we're calling it um, uh, hybrid is that it can support a very wide range of technologies. So um, it can support TVI, but it can also support AHD, IP, um, CVI, and also backward compatible, we'll say with 960H or analog cameras that people will have. Uh, it can support cameras up to two megapixel. So the reason that we're benchmarking now on Hikvision or moving that direction is, number one, it's the market leader. Number two, it can support almost any technology that's out there. And also the, the sort of usability of it, the features, the easy to set up for remote viewing, all the rest of it, it just means that the whole marketplace is going there and it comes in at a fantastic price point as well so these particular units they're available with free shipping directly from freetv.ie in terms of the hard drives they can support you can support up to six terabyte uh, sata drive in both the four and the, the eight um uh, camera versions okay so what i'll do here is i'll just give an overview of exactly physically what comes in it we'll look at the features on the box itself physically and then what we'll do is we'll move over and uh, look at the software menus on the dvr itself so it comes in this outer box here so we'll see it's a ds 7200 series but the key thing here is it's a turbo hd so that's what's telling us it's a, it's a two megapixel so we just have a, a, a a CD here and also a user manual. We have the external power unit. We have also the, the mouse uh, remote control and we have cables here for connecting the SATA drive uh, internally here. So um, we're on to the main event here, which is the actual DVR itself. I'll just push it slightly forward. I'll just come around to the front. So if we look at the front here, we'll see we have a USB port here. And also we just have some basic information about power and status, etc. So USB ports generally used for adding on a mouse or also we'll say if we wanted to extract a recording um, or change the firmware or uh, upload, let's say, a config file for a standard DVR setting or something like that. So if you look at the back of the unit here, uh, between the 4 and the 8, this is obviously an 8-way here, camera input. The 4 would obviously just have 4 here. Then it's similar again in terms of the video output here. We would have another USB port and a HDMI connection here. Alternatively, you can use VGA. And we also have um, audio in, audio out here on it as well. Uh, what we have then is a LAN connection. And we've also an RS-485. Uh, so if you're using a PTZ pan uh, tilt zoom uh, camera here, we can uh, control it directly off his. And then we have our DIN power connection here for the power unit I showed a few moments ago. Now on the 8-way models and on the higher um, um, uh, versions of the, of the, the Hikvision DVRs, they have this uh, alarm blocks here. So there's a total of 8 alarms going to be set up there. And that's very, very convenient, particularly for people doing professional type uh, DVR setups there. They want to be able to trigger alarms, things like that, and, um, and record events, etc. So if we come along now and we just look at the main menu here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click here, I'm going to click on menu, as it prompt me for a password, and the password in this is this. Right, so we've just gone straight in there. And now what we can do is we can just look, look at the thing. Now remember, we're doing a series of videos covering all these topics here. But if we just come along and we want to do playbacks here, we come along and we can set up the different cameras and choose the playback and uh, the date, etc., and pick out particular time periods, forward, playback, slow, all the rest of it, rewind on it. Um, so you're going to exit out there. Obviously, we don't have a hard drive, so we have no recordings on it here. Uh, export here, if we come along, we'll say we can choose to export off to a USB port uh, uh, to a hard drive or a stick or something like that, a particular event. And we can choose which camera we're doing it for, the time streams, all the rest of it, or it was a particular event we were doing it in relation to. Uh, we have a VCA uh, search, so this is a relatively new feature on it. And what it's doing is it's allowing you to choose a particular number plate or a face, something like that, and search through recordings to see can you find the particular thing. Uh, that particular um, image, we'll say. And then there's a manual settings here where you can actually uh, set manually how you're going to do the recording, etc. So we'll just do the back here again. And if we come to the hard drive here, again, we don't have a hard drive on, but we could do here, we'll say, in terms of the look at the storage information, the size of it. And we could also do advanced settings and how we can set it up in terms of recording space allocated for particular cameras, etc. Um, if we come down here to the recording, what we can do is we can set up uh, the days of the week, the times, and also the events, whether we want to continue recording certain times, triggered by motion events, etc., like that. And we can do advanced settings in here, we'll say, where we're able to set it up for um, um, these here, but we have the parameters there as well that we can work with, and also holiday periods, so we can set times that it's not going to record or record continuously. If we come along to the camera, it's well, in here we'll say the camera management, we can see the OSD settings. 
um, in here will say we can set there and also the PTZ um, functionality will say if you're set a uh, particular paths etc like that and uh, we have motion here so we can say we want to block out certain areas things like that or we want to be detecting in certain areas and the private mask it's the same thing how we can set things on it so we'll just uh, um, back out of there and we'll just go into the configuration file here so you can just see the general settings here and then we can move through um, the DST settings into the more settings here so the network settings uh, alarms all the rest of it so no alarm input on it and live views again so again we'll say we haven't you know to fully demonstrate there we need a lot more uh, setup on it in relation to extra cameras things like that so then we have the maintenance mode here so we have the device information all the rest with qr code there is interesting because we could use it in relation to setting this up for an app for remote viewing things like that we'll cover that when we're actually covering the remote viewing features and the different options we have there and finally we have the shutdown version here so we could choose here it's just to log out okay so we can see overall would say the, the menu design of it is um, both clean and crisp and it's also consistent across the range of DVRs um, that Hikvision are making there. So we think we'll say to move over towards Hikvision would be huge the positive for us because it's compatible with all the cameras out there regardless of what you've purchased in terms of older cameras uh, what technology the, the camera resolution all the rest of it here so the, the two megapixel here you know is, a, is much higher setting than what we had previously although we do actually have a higher range of Hikvision ones as well but probably the two megapixel ones here are probably proven to be the most bad thing and it's important to remember there that if we have the older cameras are one megapixel or 960H cameras all the rest of it, all of these will work directly with um, these particular units and the, lots of the complications you have with other DVRs needing to balance off certain types of cameras in sets of two things like that all those complications evaporate so overall we'll say Hikvision have moved themselves into a, a very strong market position but not by chance simply because they've got a great range very easy setup and it's very very compatible with so much things that it's sort of becomes the default choice and they're really uh, dominating the market for that reason so that's it anyway an overview of the Hikvision 4 and 8 way uh, 2 megapixel turbo hybrid uh, DVRs.